Hello, welcome to TTP, to Muckle Talk podcast. We're here at RPD's uh, gym in Blackpool. I'm going to go in and do some boxing. I think do some, do some sparring. I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah, let's go in and take a look. TTP, you're joined by me, John, and RP Davis. Hi, mate, you're okay. Um, we're in his gym right now. Can you just tell us a little bit about it? How yeah. Long been here and... Yeah, um, me and my dad set this gym up in 2015. Um, obviously, it's a boxing gym for, for myself when I was, when I was active. Uh, but it's now become a gym for, 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 for everybody, really. You know, I, I try and market it. Uh, as a gym for everybody so we've got some really good fighters that come down here but we've also got men and women who, who don't want to box but they want to use boxing as a as a way to get fit and um, really get the most out of the sport which I, which I think is very accessible to, to all. Um, now we've got kids classes on, we've got adults classes on, uh, we've, got, we've got, got a little bit of something for everybody. What's the youngest that you teach? Youngest is, usually it's five and up. Oh, yeah. Five and up is the youngest, yeah, so we're, we're, we're getting them young. <laughs> yeah. I can see your branding everywhere, it looks quite Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. The boxing horses, are they yours? Or they're or mine, they're yeah, they're mine. Uh, a friend of mine got them all done for me, uh, called Chris Daniels, good lad. So boxing and behind us, in terms of height, what's the difference between that and what you would box? Quite, um, no, no, that's it. Is that about yeah, no, that's, that's very similar. That's, very, that's an 18 foot ring, you know. Um, which is which is kind of middle of the road in boxing. You can get them slightly smaller, you can get them bigger, but you know that that's a that's a good size ring. And uh, yeah, moving on to wrestling slightly, how different is the wrestling ring? <laughs> different. Obviously, the the actual structure is, is, is similar. Um, mm. Obviously, a wrestling ring has got three ropes. Yeah. Um, this has got four, um, and the ropes are made of. Um, usually kind of like a coil or, or a wire, yeah. um, whereas these are just a general rope. Um, but the wrestling ring, I mean the boarding is all the same, everything like that, but usually there's a, there's a small spring underneath, mm. uh, so you get a, bit of, a, a tiny bit of give yeah. in wrestling. You don't, you don't get as much as they make you believe, <laughs> but, but you, you get a little bit of give, whereas this is a bit more uh, flat and uh, you know, static. But, but you know, we, I've tried to adapt it a little bit so I can do a little bit of that kind of a mix of training of boxing and I can do a little bit of wrestling in it as well. Um, mm -hmm. And, and, and it's, it's done me well so far. So you had a successful boxing career? Yeah. And you've moved on to wrestling? Yeah. You started at Grand Pro Wrestling? Grand Pro Wrestling, GPW, How yeah. did that come about? Um, I've got a friend who, who, who runs it called uh, Johnny Brannigan, uh, a real good pal of mine. And, uh, he, he always knew I was a um, when I was boxing, he knew I was a wrestling fan. Um, and when I used to come to the ring, I used to always come out to a wrestling entrance theme. Uh, it's like a bit of a nod to my wrestling pals in the crowd. Uh, but Johnny messaged me after I retired. Uh, he knew that I was, you know, maybe slightly in a kind of a bitter place because of the way the boxing career ended. Uh, and he gave me what I always consider as my second chance. You moved on to Odyssey Pro Wrestling, which yeah. is based in Morecambe. Morecambe, yeah. Well, they're, they're a new company now, Odyssey, and uh, they're based out of Morecambe, um, which I'm told have got an unbelievable fan base, and mm. they absolutely live for it. So I'm really, really excited to go and uh, perform to the Morecambe fans. But one of the other exciting things they're doing is obviously they're bringing the show over to Blackpool mm. as well, which is massive for me because I've never really bought, I've never really wrestled in uh, in Blackpool, right. and, you know, and all my my main support group are from this town, mm. um, and they followed me to Wigan and they followed me to Manchester and they followed me to all the different shows I've been in, but to be able to get them to come to Blackpool will, will mean something to me as well, a um, bit of a homecoming for me. So yeah, I'm very very excited, and uh, and I honestly believe that we can really. I think we could get something good going uh, yeah. with, with, you know, with Blackpool wrestling and make it a regular thing. But uh, the first stop will be the, the show, um, the Odyssey show from Blackpool. And uh, I'm excited to get that going and, and see where we can go. So if you do want to come and you're watching this, you're, you're a listener uh, of the show, 
which it should be because it's a very good show. <laughs> um, get on the Odyssey website, all the tickets are available now and all the dates um, for, for the Morecambe and the Blackpool shows are, are up and running now. So get involved because I honestly believe it's going to be the, the takeoff of, uh, of, of big things. Is it quite hard to let your guard down because obviously in boxing you've got to be... Yeah, yeah, I mean that's one of my, that's one of my, yeah, that's one of my faults really at the minute. Uh, mm. I've always been taught to kind of hide mm. everything. So, so you know, I hide pain, I hide, uh, hide my face, yeah. you know, I protect, protect myself. Whereas wrestling is all the, op the, op the opposite of that, yeah. you know, it's all about showing emotion and mm. showing the crowd your pain and showing the crowd your joy. I, I have enjoyed the education of it and, uh, and uh, I'm far from the finished article, I'm far from the finished article, but, but I am working, I, I work very, very hard um, to, to, to get better. And I believe that in time that, you know, I, I, can, I can make a mark on, on the whole British wrestling scene. When you were on the show before, you said that when we go visit with you, did he did. He, did he give yeah. you any tips? Yeah, yeah, well, he, he batted me for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he come in and yeah, I thought he was going to be coming down for a picture. He ended up putting me in a headlock for half an hour. But no, uh, he's, a, he's a great guy. He's a great guy and uh, he, he's a friend of a friend. And he came down to have a look at the gym and then he found out I was doing a bit of wrestling. And uh, he, he, he jumped in the ring and showed me some tips and pointers. and. A lot, a lot of what I've just said, really, uh, a lot of what I'm saying has come from from uh, Mr. Eagle because I, he, he wants me to try and push my uniqueness. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, as far as I'm aware, I'm the only professional uh, championship winning boxer mm. that has gone into the independent British wrestling scene right. at the minute. I mean, I know, I know Anthony Agogo has just gone over to AEW. Mm. Um, it was a, good, a very good fight. We actually fought the same same opponent, me and Anthony oh. Agogo. Oh, true, guys, story for <laughs> uh, But but and he's doing really well. But on the independent scene, as far as I'm aware, I'm the only guy who's ever been a pro boxer mm. um, and, and won titles and then gone over to pro, you know British professional wrestling. With um, OPW, yeah. Do you know who you're wrestling yet? Yeah, yeah I'm wrestling it? Scotty Rourke. Scotty Rourke, who's a. Uh, um, a rock star uh, high flyer who, who and he's an unbelievably tired lad, unbelievably tired and he's similar similar to me, he's been on a similar training programme to me over the year uh, that we've been you know, on lockdown. Yeah. We've, we've got involved in this 36 week physique with um, training with Nush and he was an ex-wrestler right. and he's you know, really helped us you know, get, get in good shape and stay in good shape throughout the, the lockdown period. Uh, Scotty is, is one of the standouts of that and uh, he's got himself in unbelievable shape, he's got an unbelievable move set, talented, fast, can fly, can do all them things and I'm excited for that because he, he's the first he's the first high flying sort of opponent I've ever wrestled right. so I, I, I think there's potential there for it to be a, a massively exciting match you know and, and that's what we're aiming for we want to we want to steal the show on that when is the first show the first show is on the uh, 7th of august uh tickets are, are online now you can get them all um, at odyssey's website if you're a wrestling fan and you are you know wanting something new and fresh and you know a, a roster that's absolutely stacked full of talent then i massively advise you jump on the website get a ticket booked yeah. and come, come and see what we're about so, uh, talk us through what we're going to do today. Loads of fun today, lads. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of boxing with you. So I'm going to show you some techniques. I'm going to get you on the pads, get you on the bags. And then when I've got you really, really tired, I'm going to let you have a go beat me up. <laughs> just, for, just for the viewers. Bit, bit of fun, knocking, knocking me around for a while. <laughs>